Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Barber, and if you've been following this channel at all, then you know that I've done a ton of Let's Plays in the past. I have always used one of three things to record my Let's Plays. I use Fraps for PC Let's Plays, which works just fine. And then I use a hob hog for anything that I could do through components, so that's Xbox 360, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, anything like that. And then I have a Ion Video 2 PC, which isn't perfect, ideal, it's not designed for recording video games, but it works just fine for what it is. It's composite and S video. The one thing that I've always wanted, however, is an HDMI capture device. Sure, I can record gameplay for my PlayStation 4, but that's limited to 720p. It's 15 minutes at a time, and it does not come with commentary. You just record the video and upload it directly to YouTube. So I was looking online for solutions within my price range, and I found one. This is it, the ClearClick HD Capture Device. And if you've been paying attention to this channel recently, you'll notice that I've uploaded several pieces of gameplay using this thing. Not only that, but every single piece of gameplay that I uploaded in my last video, the composite to HDMI upscaler review, was recorded with this device. It's very simple and easy to use, so let's take a closer look. This device could not be any simpler to work. You only have two buttons on this thing. You've got the start and stop record, which if you hold it down will also switch between recording in 720p and 1080p. And then on the side you've got the power button here. Beyond that you've got a power in which takes a 5 volt standard plug, HDMI in which is where you plug in the source that you want to record, on the side here, you've got USB in. This is where you plug in a USB stick that it's going to record your video to. Make sure you have a USB stick for this thing, as it does not record directly to a PC. It records to a thumbstick, which you can use to transfer to your PC. It's also got a 3.5 millimeter jack for a mic if you want to record audio commentary alongside your video. That is not how I do my videos. I record the audio separate so I can adjust volume levels as needed. And you have HDMI out. Obviously, that goes to your television. And it's very, very simple. You hold down the button to select 720p or 1080p, whichever one you want to record at, and then you just hit it, and it starts recording, as long as you have a USB thumbstick plugged in. As for what it came with, it came with a plug, which lets you plug it into the wall, and it came with one HDMI cable. You're going to need to provide a second cable for yourself. I have a second cable here. And I have a 64 gig thumbstick that I use to record video. And it's very simple to, and easy to set up. Put your input in here. And the other end of the input, the long cable, the other end of the input goes to the device that you want to record. Put your output here. And this output goes to the monitor or television that you want it to display on. You put your thumbstick here, and it will record to this. And obviously the power plugs into the side here. And you turn it on, and just hit record, and it starts recording. It's really that simple, and it works beautifully. It also comes with editing software, so if you don't have editing software, it does come with that. All I use the editing software for is converting the file into something that Sony Vegas can use, because that's what I'm used to using for editing. I have no idea if it's better or worse than Sony Vegas, but Sony Vegas is, very, is a very, very good video editor. Let's take a look at some gameplay recorded from various sources with this thing.
This way, Mr. King. Get some smoke out! We need cover! Move! Move! So, what do I think of this device? Well, it's simple, easy to set up, and easy to use. It uses a USB thumbstick, which allows for easy transfer to your computer for video editing. And it comes with video software. It also has a microphone on the side that you can use if you want to record audio along with your video. I'm not entirely sure how it mixes it, because as I said previously, that's not how I do my audio. But, all of these are huge pluses and you saw the video for yourself it is clean clear crisp and beautiful it does not stutter i did not notice any kind of problems like halo effects or pixelation or anything like that with it the sound is accurately represented here and accurately reproduced this is a great little device and it's only about seventy dollars so it's a fairly cheap for being an hdmi capture device this thing can also record PlayStation 3. All you have to do is plug your PlayStation 3 in and hold down the button for a second or two. And when you do that, it will pop up on the screen and let you record the PlayStation 3. The only downside that I've seen to this is that you cannot use it for streaming because it doesn't plug into a computer. So if you're looking for streaming, this is not your device. If you're looking for recording gameplay for reviews, let's plays features or any other kind of video production this is a great little device and as i previously mentioned it comes with software that you can use that lets you get your foot in the door for video editing i haven't used the software much but i can tell you right now it's well advanced past the free software that windows comes with so it's at least good for some basic editing. All in all, I am more than pleased with this device. I love how the video looks and sounds. It lets me record in 1080p from all of my consoles, and I'm really happy to have bought it. I think this device is going to really improve my production quality on this channel overall on basically everything I do on it. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks, everybody, and goodbye.